Hey guys, it's Angel B here and welcome back to my channel. This is a new series on my channel I have been invited to called Stardew SMP. As you can probably see from the title, um, this SMP is owned by Moondust Bree. If you don't know her, go and check her channel out. It's so cute. There is so many of the members as well. So be sure to check them all out. Everybody is going to be linked in the description and it's night time. Um, anyway, this is my area. It is very messy. There is chests everywhere, mainly because I have not got um, a storage room yet. So we've just got loads of random stuff in there. We've got all these flowers which I collected, which are all yellow and white, my favorite colors. And then if we go down here, this is my like home. We have more chests, more chests more chests more chests i just gathered so much stuff i haven't really done much except get some items go mining and things and i haven't even done my home yet my home is going to be inside there but this is the front this is a cute little fence i designed with chiseling bits and then my portal is here and i'll show you spawn in a second but here is like a little bridge that i did the water is very unnecessary but I just think it's really cute and then there is some little flowers on the ground different sizes and that is pretty much it for my area and then if we go through the portal it takes us to our teleporter flower and it is a little bit laggy at spawn but here is my flower so you can see there is everybody has a flower let's just make it um daytime with this time shrine see everybody who's in the member everybody who's in the smp has a flower where their teleporter is to lead to their home so be sure to just check everybody out in the description and then over here is the actual spawn all these signs are part of a quest that was really oh gosh i'm a bit laggy at spawn i'm not sure why but here is like the community place um here you can sit down have some tea and yeah these cute little mushroom stores are adorable and then if we go this way here is a donation place where you can donate things in these chests and here you can buy saplings the vanilla saplings are free due to the fact you cannot get them from these trees and then you can trade iron for things there is a teleporter and then biomes are plenty S biomes are plenty saplings you can buy like magic wood this is really cute i just love this texture pack as well it just makes it look all look cuter. It, this text, this mod pack is inspired by Stardew Valley, the game, so it is farming based. And then up here we have the magic shop, or the wizardry shop, well it's potions, but... Pay one ancient kind before trading for potions. This is so cool. Oh wow. What is that? That is a really cool item. So here you can um, get some potions. Um, this season, is Star there was a previous season of Stardew Valley. This one is season two and this is more of a magic themed. So there is a few magic mods on here like the wizardry and Britannia to get into. Oh no, I need to eat. Okay, I need to do farms because I cannot be eating fish. But, oh yeah, there's one last thing up here, which is the post office, where you can give mail to people. Kind of like a peer, it's a peer box. I do not have one yet. But this is like everybody who's in the series. Some people aren't in the series anymore, but this is everybody. So yeah, that is the spawn. It is super cute. I have Pershies as well. Pershies in this SMP. Hers is next to mine. 
Um, but if we could just go up here, there's like some starter things, and then you just, and then we're at our home. So today, I think we need to do a little bit of farming. I did get some, I did create this fence here for my farms, which I think is so cute. I kind of did it here, but this is a smaller version. And I wanted this to go around my farm, like my, around my crops. So we need to do chiseling for that, but we need to, we need this, we need a storage room before anything, because I need to put all this storage stuff away. That would be a good idea. And then cotton is going to be our main crop because it gives us wool and string. And we're going to need a lot of wool because our floors are going to be like carpet. So for carpet we need wool so that's what that's going to be. That only gave us a stack and a two stacks. These here are parts from chiseling beds that I do not have. This is when I was emptying my bit bags. I like don't have enough space. I don't know why I did that. I need my bit bag. Undo. Undo. No, I can't undo. Okay, let's get a bit bag. And let's just put everything in. Okay. I just didn't have enough, um, see if this chest here is like random stuff. So this fence is going to be far around my farms, so let's figure out where to put this first. I think we should put it over here, what was that? What was that? Why did I just take damage? Oh, it was the beehive. You know what? Let's get this bee. We need a scoop. We need a scoop to pick up the bee. Sticks, wool. Do we have wool? We should have some left. We need the sticks and we need the wool. Um. Yes, okay. We probably will need more sticks. So let's put the wool sticks and then we got a scoop so now hopefully we can break this oh and that gave us some a b pristine stock and then we need to oh it gave us two b's oh a princess and a drawn and then we need to take some beehives i think and then we need to do that and then we can breed like trees so we can get different tree types and wood types which I think is cool but let's just break these trees some crops on this bit of land we need more dirt so we can fill this in so we need to go and get some dirt Where is this zombie coming from? Oh, he's right there. Oh, and this iron too. Yes, I do have diamond tools. I did go mining for quite a while. Um, I just wanted to get the mining out the way because I know it can be pretty boring. And I mean, it's pretty boring for me. Oh no. Okay. It's pretty boring for me too. So I kind of just did that off camera, but this whole series is based upon farming and magic. So hopefully we're going to get into Britannia. And there are some little quests to follow too, which are in the discard. Which I'm super stuck for, but let's just get some of this dirt. Okay, that should be good. Oh, we have to fill all this in, but I think that's going to require too much dirt. Alright, 
so let's start the fence going around so for this we need dark oxy all this random stuff we need to get rid of oh who dropped that a spell book that is pretty cool we have not got the knowledge to understand that yet but um we need the chisel designs and we need a chisel bag with dark oak planks in it go away please so we need to place some of this down and then we need to break it and that should go inside the chisel bag and then we need to take this design um let's see that's the first part that's the second part oh you know what it would be so much easier if we just broke this but we need to make sure we have it in the right order so that's first okay let's get rid of this now that we don't need that and then let's bring these down okay so the first one let's see um we do want a path here still so i feel like here is a good spot we're gonna put it like that and then the top part oh no not that I wanted it on top. Oh no, I messed it up. Oh well, let's just get the base down first. We're gonna have to use the chisel um, things to do the top section. We might as, oh, but we broke it and we don't have it. Oh no, I've messed up. Um, I forgot how it looked. We have one piece. I'm not sure where this goes. Okay, well, I'm gonna have this fence sorted by the next episode. I kind of screwed up on that one, but we could get the crops down. Okay, and then we need a hoe and some water. I'm gonna have the water come in from trees. I feel like that would look a whole lot cuter. So we need saplings and bone meal. We only have bones, we don't have bone meal. Hopefully this is enough. I'm gonna try and do the trick. Hopefully this trick works. Let's place a random tree. And then let's get another piece of dirt. Oh no, it didn't work, it only did a small one. Oh well, it's fine, it's fine. We don't need a big one, but let's... Oh, we need the hole, I keep forgetting about the hole. Um, I did definitely have a hole as well. Okay, so let's do this. I feel like this is a good size. And then we can have a path. And this is just for cotton as well, so. But let's do this again. Oh, we need that to grow. Um, but until then, let's just plant the cotton. Alright, I feel like that's a good amount of um, cotton. Hopefully all this gets touched by the water. Wait, we need one, two, we need two more on this side. And we need to have the fence going around it, so. Hopefully this would work. We need to go and get the rest of the cotton from the chest. We have so much cotton, we could do the farms so much bigger than this. 
but we can't have it too big. I'm going to have a cotton one and a soy because they're the two that we need the most and then it will look cute with the fence going around it. Okay, so that is that one. Let's just place a torch on the tree. We do in fact need more bones for that, so... Did I pick any up? No, hopefully we can find some sort of skeleton. Or do we not have any? No, we have none left. But anyways, um, I'm just gonna collect all these cherries. But one thing we do need is a storage room. Hopefully I'll have that done by the next episode. The storage room is going to go inside my house, which is going to go inside here. I think there is a back to it. Let's see. Oh, the back is kind of far out, but I mean, there is a cave here. We could have something to do with this. We could have like, Something this way. I'm just gonna see how far this goes to get to the. Okay, it's not that far back at all. It probably would have been better to have my farms at the back because I could have a kitchen at the back. Oh, and there is another cave down there. But I don't know. I probably will have the farm animals at the back of my house and creatures and things like that. But yeah. That is pretty much it for this episode. It's kind of just an introduction video. I'm sorry, this is kind of boring, but I was just kind of showing you the series. And yeah, thank you, Moondust Reef, for inviting me to this series. Be sure to follow all the members in the description. There is a lot of members in this SMP. And yeah, please be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on to get notified when I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.